Hello and welcome to this week's match highlights on Montrose FC TV with myself, Stephen Dixon. This week's match highlights comes from yesterday's William Hill Scottish Cup 4th round tie at Lynx Park where 6th in League 1 Montrose went head to head with 3rd in the Championship Dundee United. Montrose last 5 run of games have seen him pick up 2 victories, a draw and 2 defeats scoring 7 and conceding 7 where well Dundee United's last run of 5 games have seen him pick up 2 victories, 2 draws and 1 defeat scoring 6 and conceding 5. So the man in the middle is David Munro, and he's about to blow his first whistle of a very important 90 minutes for both sides in this local derby. Montrose and Dundee United. So Montrose get us underway and it's back with Ian Campbell and the former four for centre half launches up forward. But it's all the way back through to the Dundee United goalkeeper, Benjamin Seagrest, and he quickly rolls. Oh, now here's United at the other end. Here's a chance of Franco denying. <laughs> But the flag was up. <coughs> in any case, it's a Slovakian. He kicked him in throats. Now Dundee United have it back in the left back area. Callum Booth knocks it on. It's inside now. Here's Mercado Gomez in his third spell at Dundee United. We'll set ball from left to right. Here's Paul McMillan hugging. So he steps inside away from Steve. Still McMillan inside. There's a chance for United. Stanton shot wide. Full kick. Now Dylan's in there and Masson for Montrose. Oh, Masson. Used well there by Booth and now United break. Here's Gomez back inside. It's not left. Stanton inside. Comes off camera. There's to Franco. And it's 1 0 Dundee United. The visitors strike first. Eight minutes on the clock. And it's the Slovakians. Ninth 21 Dundee United appearances since signing on loan from Alberg in the summer. It came off Ian Campbell there and Safranco was on hand. Poacher's instinct just to knock that ball into the net with a head beyond Alan Fleming, who was behind the line before he got a right hand onto it. So 1 0 to the visitors. See the ball wide left. Rennie knocks it inside. Redman. Swivels on it and knocks it back to Andrew Steves. Steves knocks that ball down the left hand side. Now he's looking to try and find any way back into this cup tie. Back now with Graham Webster, the former Dundee man, gets it across, but it's well caught with Seagrest. And now here's the straight away on the attack, get the ball across, and it's dealt with by Craig. Gomez picks up for United. Um, it's Booth out wide left. Back inside, good okay, there and shots on tap. Save. And he's got denied there by Fleming. And United again. Looking to break away. Paul Watson knocks that ball out wide right and Paul McMullen. McMullen knocks the ball through. Now it's on. Good play by Cammy Smith and it's Blocked there by Steves, corner kick United. So the, to be flighted in by Cammy Smith, was in his second spell. Ball to the edge of the box, it's flighted in, there's a chance, oh, it's off the line by Campbell. Close from United, Sam Stanton. Plays it all at wide left. And it's Callum Booth, the former Hibson breaking man, goes for a shot. Oh, what a finish! And Callum Booth hit off. The upright and Dundee United have doubled their lead. Montrose nil, Dundee United 2 in 43 minutes. What a finish that was from the left back. Callum Booth onto the weaker foot, the right. And from a full 25 yards out and more. This unleashes an absolute perla in off Fleming's left hand post. It's the men from the championship who are in full control. Here at Lynx Park. Half time is Montrose nil, Dundee United 2. So Franco and Booth of Robbie Nielsen's Tangerine Terrors in full control. So Dundee United to restart the second half. We'll just put the back to the back. Mahena plays it wide left. And Booth, the goal scorer, it's not back the way to France. Now on to Rashid Behena 
Once is that ball forward, it's United looking at cross prompt and it was an excellent United man, Sean Dillon who got the head on it, back to goalkeeper Alan Fleming. Sean Dillon now a player coach here at Montrose. After serving in years at Dundee United, and now here is United. Aidan Nesbitt chips that ball into the box and a chance to reach there. Who's going to go? But out here is, well, the flag is up. United denied by the referee's assistant. But it will be a kick for Montrose. And Stuart Peaty's men. Huge side relief here is Montrose. Here's a chance, it's Webster. But it's blocked on the way through of Booth. And most is the referee. Goal kick given. To the men from Tannadice Park. Now, controls have given the ball away and United We're going to counter now. Down the left hand side, Stanton knocks it inside. Still United. Good play, it's knocked on by Nicky Clark. There's a chance here, but it's well over the top. Damien Smith, goal kick. Throws. United still as it stands, heading into the fifth round draw on Sunday evening. Free kick United. And that ball across, it's McMullen onto Stanton, wide left to Booth. Patient build up here from Dundee United. Balls across, it's a deep cross to the back post, but it's wide in the end. Kick again to the Gable Endies. Gomez. Taking the ball from Behenan gives him gives him it back. Now it's out wide right this time. It's knocked inside. Good strong running from United, and it's up with Callum Booth now. The left foot short. Oh, great save, Fleming. And Campbell's going to deal with this for Montrose. It's on to Steves. Andrew Steves is going to a bit of bother there, and he's played it. Patrick Craig, and the former Hibs man just knocks it wide right to Ryan Harrington. And now United now looking to goals by the looks of it, and it's a Franco. It's back, there's a chance, Nicky Clark. It's been the last week, and it won the home from Bundy United against Dunfermline in the Championship. Puts that ball back. It's on <laughs> Behena. It's knocked forward this time. United into the Montrose box. There's a chance and it's 3 now and it's Billy King for his first touch of the match. Since the substitute came on and Billy King puts the game out of sight with his 11th goal and 66 appearances for United. To cross there and Billy King on the volley right foot beyond Alan Fleming into the goalkeeper's far left. And United. What they are now. Great finish there from a former Hearts man. Throws nil, Dundee United 3. Billy King on 81 minutes of that goal now. Throws Webster picks up. And now United looking to break away. Good start running. This time from Sam Stanton. Knocks it wide left. It's the goal scorer of the third. King, right foot shot, great save Fleming, still King, looks wide left this time, still you need to keep possession, it's knocked on, Marks, McMullen, and there's a chance and it's over the top, well it's a corner, good save, Fleming, hi Nicky Clark, as Ian Harks knocks that on to Behena. Now it's back inside for Gomez. Gomez on to Billy King. The through ball on to McMillan. McMillan, first cross blocked by Dillon. And there's Ian Harks, and that's it. And throws now United 4. Deep inside stoppage time at the end of the 90. Ian Harks, of course, the son of the Sheffield Wednesday legend and USA International John Harks. In the mid 90s, signing from DC United. 
what was on his debut for the Tangerines and it's Montrose nil Dundee United 4 and that is full time and it all started on 8 minutes and Pavel Safranco headed in inside the 6 yard box Callum Booth scored an absolute sizzler from 25 yards in off the post in 43 and then it, was, it wasn't until the final 10 minutes United sealed the deal Billy King with a volley with his first touch from about 12 yards out in 81 and then Ian Harks from the Paul McMillan assist in 92 minutes to give Dundee United the victory an attendance of 3,604 witnessed it full time at Lynx Park Montrose 0 Dundee United 4